David Jordan is the private advisor to CEOs, specializing in creating results through strategic innovation. Welcome to this week's segment. I frequently express in these blogs the importance of understanding what the customers want when you're driving innovation. But the biggest difficulty that you have is that customers don't always know what they need or what their real problem is. Um, so Henry Ford, who, who made cars affordable to the masses, uh, raised the firm, uh, famous quote, if I asked customers what they wanted, they would have asked for a faster horse. What he was trying to express is the problem is, is that customers only know within their knowledge base. It's very difficult to ask them about something that they are not aware of. They don't know what that problem is. And when you think about innovation, innovation is talking about something new. So if it's talking about something new, then your customer isn't really going to understand it or be aware of it. A very good example of that would be Steve Jobs when he introduced the iPhone. He couldn't go to customers and say, do you need an iPhone? Nobody's ever heard of an iPhone. Nobody's ever seen an iPhone. How could they respond to that question? What Steve Jobs was really focused on was to actually understand what the customer's problem was. Pushing out to customers and asking them, you know, what are the problems that you have using a mobile phone? Customers would respond, uh, the screen's too small, um, but that, the apps are hard to use, it's hard to send a message, and, and, and so on. And that feedback is what Steve Jobs used to actually design the iPhone. So he didn't ask the customer if he wanted an iPhone, he tried to ask, try to understand what were the customer's problems so he could design an iPhone that would solve the customer's problems. The issue then is, becomes a challenge is how do you ask customers what the problems are? And, and it's really important to put effort into uh, market research or surveys. One of the things I find uh, frustrating, and, and I'm sure you do, is when you get a survey asking for your feedback, but they don't ask the questions in a way that you can give feedback. It's sort of like a question of which color do you prefer, red or blue? Where market research would tell the product manager, look, the customers, majority of customers might prefer red. But in reality, the majority of customers would prefer black, but we didn't ask them the question. So one of the difficulties is really putting a lot of time and effort into making sure that you are finding out what the customer's problems are and not driving the research into how you think the product should be or, or asking questions of the customer, what do you think of our product? So... Going back to, to Henry Ford saying, if I asked the customer, they would have said a faster horse. It's really important. Focus not on the product, but focus on trying to identify what is the customer's problems, why, what are they trying to solve, um, what ways would they like to solve it. Really try and dig into that and come back to that very important thing all the time is that if you want to drive success and drive growth and profits from innovation, keep focusing on solving the customer's problem. If you don't have a copy of David's book, The CEO Innovation Blueprint, you can get that now at freeceoblueprintbook.com.au. That's freeceoblueprintbook.com.au.